guys how are you it's been ages i've been live okay so this is blessing life issue and i just want to talk to nigerians about preparing for coronavirus i mean i just spoke to my mom and she told me that there is going to be a lockdown starting from tomorrow so i just want to give people advice the point is if we adhere to policies if we do what the government are saying even those yes i know sometimes we don't trust our government we don't believe in them some of them have flown outside some of them are just you know locked themselves up without caring about us but at least even if you don't want to believe what the nigerian government are telling you please at least listen to the people who are in the western world okay so what i want to do this morning is to talk about preparing for lockdown so nigeria is about to be locked down and from what i've heard um, interstate travel has been restricted so the armies are on the street the police are on the street i have a video i'm going to show you now this video <laughs> of police going around destroying people's property now i'm going to say this if you are in any area where they have already imposed a lockdown please please don't let yourself be killed now because this is an excuse for the trigger happy police people to kill you so please lock down i know it's hard i know that most people are wondering how are they going to survive without any food so what i'm going to talk to you is how to prepare now if you can listen if you can follow some of the things i'm going to say today 
you might be okay. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. This is kind of like somebody restraining you from a kind of life you've never lived before. Nigerians were social beings. We're used to going to party. We're used to having friends coming to our house, knocking at our door anytime. So for us to be confined in one place, not to leave our house, it is going to be hard, like hard. I mean, I'm used to not having friends come to my house because I live in the UK. But I know that in Nigeria, it's hard for someone to think. So I'm going to take you through what you need to be doing. Now, I'm going to be looking at um, what I've prepared because I wanted this video to be very educative. I don't want to just like off my head start talking. I want you to at least, if you're going to listen to me, to get something out of it. So I'm going to first of all start with go home, shut the shops, please go home stay indoors this is not the time to start going to beer parlors this is not the time to start going to churches listen if the government in your locality said don't go to church please don't go to church a woman in china that gave this coronavirus to close to eight thousand people actually spread it in a church two churches that she visited one person was, was traced to have given 8,000 people. She was one of the earliest people that got the coronavirus. So why we say don't go to church is because such is kind of like a, a, a place where a gathering. And it's not just about churches. Mosque. Anywhere there is a gathering. Weddings. Parties. Please, this is not the time to be going for such thing. I know we love all one bay. But if you love your life, you need to stop. I know. I, I even called... To know how hard it is for Nigerians, yeah? I put a call to my mom this morning and I was like, oh, you know, you need to stop going to church. She's like, how can she go not go to church? You know, she has to go to church. Church is, if she doesn't, I'm like, okay. My own mom, she's been watching my video. She knows what is happening in the UK. She's even calling me crying, like, how are you guys over there? But she cannot imagine not going to church. I know how religious we are in Africa. I know how we love God so much. Well, love God, in quotes. But the point is, if you love your life, please, for now, eh, pray on your own with your family. You see that scripture that you've been learning in church so much. Now it's time for you to practice it on your own at home. If your church have internet, what they need to do is to be posting your pastor's preaching for you guys every day or every other day so pastors needs to be more creative now like i'm doing a, i'm doing a youtube video pastors need to just sit down behind their pulpit or somewhere and just you know preach and send it to their members and send the link to their members they have a database so they should have their numbers they need to be more creative not going out so that's the first thing go home stay at home don't go knocking on your neighbors. If you don't have salt, please. You don't know if the neighbor that you're going to knock on their door has a coronavirus. You don't know. So my advice to you is stay at home, please. For us to combat this disease, we need to first of all self-isolate or isolate or just stay back home. Now, we know, I, I, I mean, when I heard that it has gotten to Africa. The first thing I told myself is, how are the traders, the businessmen, the one-man business, the people that work for one-man business, how are they going to survive? People who are not paid. I lived in Africa and I know how hard it is. I know how, as you are getting your salary, it is finishing. I mean, it's not a lie. Like, you're getting your money, the house rent you have to pay. I'm gonna tell you something. If you owe your landlord this month, Please, food first before rent. Once they pay you, go and buy food stuff first. Let the landlord be shouting, have not paid. He knows what is happening. Unless it's only a wicked landlord that will throw you out of the house. I'm telling you. I mean, for landlords now, you guys, even if it's just for this one month or two, they're going to start. Just leave them. They can just give you even part of the money. They need to have food to eat. If they die, let me ask, if they die, will you get the money? No, you won't. So, so I'm going to say this, yeah? Please, 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 please get food in the house. Go home. Anywhere you think is home, where your loved ones are, 
you need to be there now if you are in lagos and you feel okay that is my home with my family please stay there i've heard that people are traveling to the east people are going back to the village the village will not help you you need to stay where you are stop in Tabotha or going to locations you know traveling is you don't need to travel now this is not christmas this is life and death you don't know what you're carrying from the city to the east so you're carrying from the city to to um, another location they're not so please stay where you are just stay where you are don't start traveling now it's not the time to travel and go to where your heart is so if you're in a relationship and you're not married this is the time to commit if you feel that this woman both of you don't have virus and it's time for you to marry huh, go and you can't even pay you can't even pay pay price right price now so go to your own house she goes to her own house this is not the time to be doing boyfriend and girlfriend madam go to your house he's not married to you so go to go to your home stay in your home be calling on the phone this is not the time to do love and then for the sugar mommies and the sugar daddies and the sugar girls and the side chick please stay in your house leave the married men alone let them be with their family and stop calling them at least for this period let them face their family all right now the next thing i'm going to say is food I know people say, um, don't stop pile, don't, you know, pile up things, don't keep food in the house. But there are essential food you should have in the house. You know, rice. Go and get a bag of rice. Go and get a bag of curry. Go and get beans. And then get, you know, tin tomato. Put it in the house. With those four things in the house, you can always whip up food. When I say whip up, you always have something to eat. Even if it's just to just... Put the put that oil, you know, both red and granite oil, you have it in the house. With these three things in the house, you always have something to cook or something to eat. Even if it's just to put the kick the eh, eh, we don't know how long this is gonna last. Now. I don't even know how long it's gonna last in the UK. Nobody knows. China has been in it for the past four, four months, going to five months now. I know America, that Trump, he's been saying he's gonna open, he's gonna open. People are dying in doves. Like, people are dying in doves. Yesterday in the UK, we had 100 people dying in one day. So this thing, just get food. Okay? So this is, this my video is not a scare video. It's to prepare you. You know, the Bible talk about the 10 virgins that were prepared. So we need to prepare for the time. Don't think, ah, uh, you know, I have faith. Oh, freeze. Her, my dear, the UK. I was showing you guys the video. It was scarce for us to get food in the shop sometimes. Even now, I can't even get bread. I went to the shop to get, I can't get bread. There is no egg. African markets, they don't have rice. Thank God I have rice. At least that will last me for one month. There is no rice. So, the, ma the major food that you need, just get it. Then the other ones, just, you know, the ones you can get, get, like crawfish. Once you have crash, crawfish and you have oil and you have rice, whip it off. That's food you don't do now. Uh -uh. So those basic things that you need in the house, please, please have them. Have them at home. Don't think that, oh, the market will always be open. The point is to safeguard yourself. You don't want to be going to the market because you don't know who has it. You don't know, you don't know who are going to have it. You don't know. It might be the person selling the food. It might be that person that you are standing before. Or the person or the boss that you're going to enter to get to the market. We don't know. So the little contact that you have with people, the better for you. That's why we say have the basic thing at home. So that it can at least last you. But please don't stop power. But people are. So even if you do, people are doing it. Safety first. Now, another thing I want to talk about is money issue. 
for all these sugar daddies and sugar mummies and sugar everything and all these powerful you know philanthropics that are always distributing to different girls <laughs> hey this is not the time to start spending recklessly when it's when they are not your family please save that money if you've not been giving your wife money for food and she's your wife it's time for you to give her that 200 to go and get get food in the house if you feel she's going to use that money for gold or buy cloth go with her to the market men do it or you do the shopping but it is not time to waste your family money on girls i am just telling you it is not time that money should be at home for your family now your immediate family huh? let me tell you my dear if people know what help themselves this is not the time to start helping them all your parents yes if they are poor and they don't have money of course you should be thinking about sending money to them or sending stuff for them for them to be eating if they're not living in your house so think about your family as in your mom and your dad any other person if you don't have money on their own no unless they are little children that you are helping out basically yeah at a particular age when a child when somebody gets to 20 a person's out of university you don't owe them anything that's how i feel so but we know the nigerian situation we know the economy we know everything so the ones you can help help but first of all remove money for your immediate family then if you have enough to start giving out then you can give out but for now leave all side cheek all side babes and all side boo <laughs> in this time and they are not in the agenda they are they cannot be in the agenda so all this talk about side cheek side boo whatever you don't need it now concentrate on your family concentrate on your relationship now another thing i want to talk about is the children mm -hmm. most of the schools are closed down so you're going to be having your children at home with you you need to be thinking about what can i do with them they're different i'm going to put some some links you know below this of different sites that you can use to entertain your children there are a lot of games there are a lot of masks for them to do a lot of things for them to do so go to those link and get them busy but one thing i want to tell parents is that you are not a teacher so don't think that you are going to take over the role of the teacher you are not you are not trained to be a teacher so do the best you can remember in the children's mind they are as worried as you are so as if you get them to do a little bit of mass writing is fine don't overstretch it don't think that okay it is learning time it is homeschooling time they woke up in the morning they dressed in their school uniform but they are home and they have to do mass english oh my god children are children Give, let, let them relax they are home give them a few things to do and let them play okay let them play on their playstation if they have to we want them to have you know a relaxed time not being tensed if you keep shouting and fighting and scolding them and shouting at them you're also bringing the fear you really have fear of the fact that so everybody's gonna die in the whole world think the children they don't know they are, they're all aware. They know. They know what's going on. They know this is not normal. They don't normally stay at home by this time. It's not Easter yet. And then schools are locked and they are with mommy and daddy in the house. Mommy and daddy are always go to work. They are in the house now. Come on. Come on. Just just chill. Take a chill pill, okay? Stop the shouting. Shop the I'll slap you. Or, I know Nigerian parents now. Uh-uh. We know you guys. It's not the time for that. It's time to bond with your children. It's time to, you know, to think about those games that you can play with them, to talk to them, sit them down, talk to them. It's time for you to review those things you have not had time to. It's family time. Now, that brings me to the last thing I want to say. You know what? Sometimes we need to just pause and reclaim and rebuild those things that have been lost. Maybe you are a mom or a dad and you've had 
been so busy, not had time for your family, you've been working, you wake up in the morning, you're in the car, you come back around 9, 10, the children doesn't even know you. Maybe it's time for you to pause and build back the relationships that you have lost. Maybe it's time for you to rekindle your marriage again. Maybe it's time for you to actually bond with your children again. Can we look at the good parts of this coronavirus isolation? It's not all bad, 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 bad. Yeah, I know the economy is going to be affected. I know that, you know, the, the way the goals that we have set for this year, we're going to set back, okay? We want to buy a house, we want to buy a car, we want to travel. But is life no more important? Those things that we have stopped doing, isn't it, that, isn't it time for us to go back to do it? Bond with our family. Spend time with our family. Watch Netflix. Get ice cream. Just do something. Cook with them. Teach them how to bake. Think about ways of having quality time with your family. I know it's hard. I'm going to do a video about marriages. But at the end of the day, we can, we can still stay sane and not be insane if we are very strategic in how we go about preparing for this virus isolation it is hard let me tell you if anybody tells you that it is not hard it is hard i have had so many moms sending me messages i've had to be talking to people and i keep telling them look at the positive side you have food in the house you have little money that will last you at least for food you're not going to go to be a pal you're not going to have side chick to give you money to ask you for money no boss to come and insult you about targets i mean i used to be a banker now I'll tell you about targets so all those things they know that our <laughs> businesses are not booming so no targets so look at the good side of things and you know what if we can only look at the good side of things, if we can only ask ourselves, what is good in all this, then we'll be more happy and we'll be ready. Because at the end of the day, there are people who are mourning, people who are losing their family, their loved ones. So, as you prepare for the lockdown Nigeria, Always look for the good side of things. There is nothing that the government is asking you guys to do that you cannot do. So stop struggling with them. Stop fighting with them. Stop making them, you know, the enemy. I know that some of them are, but you know, hey, at the end of the day, they are as afraid as we ordinary people are. Because it's, it, <laughs> the virus doesn't even look at faces. It doesn't know whether you're a big man or a poor man. The virus doesn't know. It kills anybody that comes his way. As long as <laughs> you have those, you know, uh, what would I call it now? Um, maybe that you are old, or even it's not even about being old. Because the people that are dying, some of them are not even old anymore. Some don't even have any underlying illness anymore. We're just at the mercy of God. That's where we are at. Right, so guys, I'm just doing this video just to prepare Nigerians who are about to go in isolation. We have been in isolation for like, we've been in a, um, just kind of like, we had a lockdown London, but it wasn't, a, it was a partial lockdown. And this week we had a full lockdown. So everybody's at home and we're still okay. At least there's food. My family is with me and we are happy. And finally, trust in god pray prayer gives you hope prayer make you have this relationship with god maybe it's about time that god calls us back to him we have been so busy thinking about our life thinking about other things and forgotten god maybe god wants us to hear him more so take out time with your family with your loved ones to pray Take out time to have a quality time. Have you stopped doing your morning devotional because you have to watch out? Have you stopped doing your prayer time, your quiet time, your meditation time? Pick it up again. Reconcile with God 
and have that relationship with him again. If you're going to stay 30 days at home, it's important that you have that relationship with God because he's the only one that can keep you sane. Then, I want to say this. If you have a hobby, you see those things that you have been procrastinating to do, please do it now. I've been procrastinating to do a lot of things. I've been wanting to write a book. I'm going to start writing my book from today. Maybe there's a garage that you've been trying to like, you know, clear out. Or maybe there's this, you know, background or backyard that you've been trying to like trim for so long, but you've not had the time. Maybe you've been trying to build the children a tent house. Maybe you've been trying to paint your, your house or your room on your own. Maybe you've been, there's so many things, so many hobbies that we, that we can do indoors that we've been trying to do and we've not had time. Maybe it's time for you to do them. At the end of the day, we can beat this virus if we stick together. Right, thank you so much for listening. And I know that God will not leave us. He will not forsake us. There is a purpose for everything. And he will answer us. If I sin, will come. I will all go rejoicing. And thanking God that we survived this time. I've never seen this kind of thing in my lifetime. But I know that God has. And he will sort out his people. Because we love him. Alright, take care. Have a lovely day. And please help me subscribe. And help me distribute this video to people so that they know what to do while they prepare for the lockdown in Nigeria. God bless you. Bye-bye.